Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. You just won't believe what I have found. The wolf pack definitely loves it. Come on. Come on, tuck, tuck, tuck. Chunky butt. Oh, martini. May may. I mean, you guys getting this? I've been taking video and shooting this and reshooting this for a week. I just feel that nothing I shoot is worthy of this place. That's how nice it is. It's hard to believe that this even exists, and the fact that it's free boggles my mind. Where am I? I am at Rhea Springs, R-E-R-H-E-A Springs, just outside of Spring City, Tennessee, right off Highway 27, just a couple miles. Now, a lot of people get angry at me for not giving GPS coordinates. But the campgrounds are listed fairly easy and somewhat easy to find. How did I find this place? Freecampsites.net. It had this glowing review. I thought for sure it just can't be right. I left Prentice Cooper WMA. And I was thinking, well, I had good luck at this WMA. Went up north toward... Uh, toward Knoxville and went to a WMA up there but they were having some kind of hunt didn't allow anybody in there so I got on freecampsites.net saw that I was about 40 miles away here I am now the story of this place is that the TVA purchased all this land and Rhea Springs had a sulfur spring in it that people from far and wide came by in the late 1800s, early 1900s and soaked in it for the healing properties. For whatever reason, this was a day use park that the city or county, whoever owns this place, decided to let people camp here overnight. I hear this is a hopping place in the summertime, but right now, there's hardly anybody here. There is one bathhouse that has bathhouse that has water and electricity, toilet, uh, cold water shower, at least in the men's room. Uh, there's a table and trash can at every site. Very, very well maintained property. There is no water, no sewage, and no electricity on the sites, but uh, you got everything you need here. I've got my 120 watt solar panel suitcase out because I've got this uh, beautiful poplar tree right here that's just in the right spot to block me. So I've got 120 watts on the ground. I've got two 160 watt panels on the roof. And with the cooler temperatures, uh, my batteries aren't doing quite as good as I'd like, but it's working. So I juice them up real good during the day. We did have one day that was rainy that I ran the generator, got them juiced up, and uh, it's just great. I have been doing a little bit of fishing, but not much luck. Let 
Martini, I can always count on you for supporting me fishing. Don't forget me. Yep. Tucker's around here somewhere. Where you at, Tuck? Oh. <laughs> there you are, you monster. Now, I have not got my Zebco, my 1953 Zebco out yet. But what I am fishing with, remember I told you about my grandpa taught me how to fish. And uh, when he died, I got all of the Zebco 33 reels and I lost them. Didn't take care of them. One of the big regrets of my life. Um, I got to thinking. I did have two of my dad's reels. They were 808s. That's what he liked to fish with because we had a pond with big catfish. And um, I went and got them and cleaned them up. My daddy's been dead for 10 years. He was killed in an accident. And this is his favorite reel. So now it sits with my other reels in the RV. I cleaned it up, put new line on it, greased it up, put it on a new rod. Think smooth as silk. It's plastic, but it's gotta be, I don't know, it's gotta be 30 years old, 25. I remember being a little boy, my daddy having it. So, maybe it'll bring in a big old catfish one day. Martini's gonna explode if I don't bring it in in two minutes. <laughs> You're fishing fool, baby. I'm trying. You gotta have patience. Yorkies and patience don't do well together. Messing up my fishing rod holder. That baby don't care, does she? Uh uh. Can I put my fishing rod back? Oh. Uh -uh. fishing rod back. Uh oh. There you go. No martinis. Be easy on the fishing rod holder now, baby May May. Martini, you are a fishing fool. Look what I can do. Don't you chew my line into, you monster. Be careful now. There's a lot of other sticks around here. You sure you don't want to chew one of those? No? You like that one, huh? Well, I'm not catching anything anyway, so you just go right ahead. You slip now. She doesn't chew anything inside the house. But she'll go outside and get a stick every now and then. I love me some baby May May. I need some help catching some fish. Is this how you helping me? And he got so excited, 
when I threw the uh, the line out, uh, she fell in the lake. And she's safe. But I'm going to have to get down there and get her out. Martini, what have you done? I'm not gonna get you. It's kind of deep. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me get you. Come over here. Martini. Martini Lynn. Get over here. Let me get you. You're not in trouble. Oh, that water's cold. Oh, goodness. Now, that's how you fell in the water. Let me dry you off. Let me dry you off. Come here. You're a monster. You catch a cold. You're gonna catch a cold. You gotta be careful. What if that water was deep and I didn't see you, huh? Woo! First time for everything. Now you just pulled the rod on top of your head. I'm going to have to put you up now. Stunning. Just stunning. It got a little cool last night. It's 55 degrees inside the RV this morning. I didn't run any heat. Probably mid 30s out here. Looky, looky, looky. Breathtaking. Now, isn't this place incredible? Unbelievable.
an hour from Knoxville, give or take, an hour or so from Chattanooga, give or take. Why it's free, I don't know. But I think this is probably one of Tennessee's very best kept secrets until now. So, hope you enjoyed my video. I appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.